This was just announced by Google, and it's available right now. Introducing Pageless Format. The Pages Format allows you to add wide images and tables and view documents without the interruption of page breaks. If you find this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and get involved. And here's what you need to know to change whether a document has pages or is pageless. On your computer, open a document in Google Docs. Go to the File and then Page Setup. At the top of the dialog window, select Pages or Pageless. Click OK to confirm that change. And here's a tip. You can click Set as Default to apply these settings to any new documents you create. Let's do an actual document conversion. I have an instructional document that I pass along after my presentation with lots of information. I always have to say, don't forget to look at all three pages. Now, I no longer need to make that statement. And folks won't ask me, where is the rest of the information? Because they didn't look at all the pages. So here is that follow-up document that I pass along after a presentation. But as you can see, it is three pages long with page rates in between. And quite often, people will look at the first part, and then they'll want to know what happened to all the other stuff you talked about in your presentation. And needless to say, if I could make this one page, there'd be lots of questions that I don't have to answer. So let's go ahead and make the conversion. Start by selecting File, then scroll down to Page Setup. And here, we can select Pageless. Pageless format allows you to add wide images and tables and consume content without the interruption of page breaks. I do want to make this particular document one simple page. So I'll select OK. I selected Pageless. Select OK. Now let's take another look at that document. The document is now one single page. Yes, I have some adjustments to make. I formatted my original document, because I knew it was three pages, with one line at the bottom that always says, More on the next page. I no longer need this. So I can go in here, and I can delete this. I can also tidy things up a little bit. Again, get rid of this, because I no longer need it. Again, tidy things up. And I now have one simple document with all the information on it. No more having to scroll to page 2 and page 3. Thank you, Google. For me, this makes lots of sense. Here's something important to remember. If your document has certain elements, such as headers and footers or watermarks, and you wish it to go pageless, you won't be able to see those elements. If you switch the document back to pages, you'll again see those elements. Also, on a document that's in pageless format, you won't be able to add certain features, such as columns, page numbers, headers, and footers, and some other things. To use these features, make sure your document is set to page format. You can see all of the instructions and information at the link directly from Google. Stay safe, stay secure, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.